Hey everyone, so I'm doing a follow-up video from the video I did a few months ago sharing my stock portfolio. It was at $180,000. It grew in, within a few months to $225,000. And so it gained some interest, so I decided to do a follow-up video on not only where where it's grown to, but where what adjustments I made and also the, the stocks I like. So here we go. What I did was I was at about a 12% position in Google. I cut it down to 8%, still overweight. I still like Google. But the reason why I cut it is just because I like other stocks. I do think Google's going to keep going up. I think it's a steady rider. But I saw other opportunities I thought were better. And then also, I had experimented with Google's Gemini, and it was very mediocre compared to its competitors such as ChatGPT, Claude.ai, and there's other ones that people like. I thought it was a huge difference from experimented. So, so it might pose a threat for search. It might not with Google search. My experience from ChatGPT is that now, and I had the paid version, if they can get that up to date with information, just like Google searches with real time, I think that will be the future of search. Google could catch up and, uh, and just maintain its leadership with uh, a better product or just as good product as ChatGPT and uh, other ones. Uh, but it makes search so much easier when you could just ask it a question and just give you the answer rather than scrolling through link after link after link trying to find a better I'm trying to find a good a good resource. So a lot of times you just want the answer right away. That is the future of search, I believe. We'll see if Google maintains competition in that. I explained like in the other video how Google has so many ways that's going to profit, even though revenue is the, the biggest one. But anyways, I cut it down from 12% to 8% of my portfolio. And I added to Amazon, which is now about 8% with Google My Portfolio. Reason being is they, I think currently they both actually have momentum. But uh, Amazon, I wanted to be more in there because they've been doing a lot of investments in Anthropic AI that runs Claude AI, which I thought the, I, which I thought that is it's very impressive. And so they got a lot going with cloud computing, e-commerce. They built out over the years. It seems like their cash flow is starting to turn around. So I think it's going to outperform, a steady outperformer. And so it's a core position for me, right? Uh, now, NVIDIA, the biggest reason why my portfolio went from 180 to 225 is because NVIDIA. I had, to start the year, it was my biggest position. It grew even further. But I have not I took profits in NVIDIA. Reason being, my plan to sell with it just because it's a huge position. I still believe in a long term. But it will have some pullbacks. In the past, NVIDIA's had 50% pullbacks. I think it's going to cut down to 25% pullbacks because the economy is going to be so much more reliable on NVIDIA. It's going to be coming to like an Apple and Microsoft. So the pullbacks probably with NVIDIA will be about 25% drawdowns. Uh, when that happens, it's not predictable. But only because it's such a big uh, position in my portfolio, my plan to sell a NVIDIA to take some profits in, in NVIDIA, probably about 25% of my uh, position I will sell, is when the Fed decides it will rate cut. Now, the way it looks like now is we could be heading for a higher for longer scenario where this may not happen in 2024 or it'll just be pushed back later this year with the rate cuts. And that is actually any dip in, in growth stocks because of a higher for longer scenario is actually great buying opportunities for growth stocks. All that means is that you're going to have to just wait a few months longer to make money in growth stocks. That's it. So just because I would add to nvidia if i didn't ha own nvidia but if you do own nvidia i wouldn't be buying up here i would probably be, be looking for other stocks and adding to NV N nvidia when it does pull back right so tesla i added roku i added next era energy i added recently so to throw in with nvidia as a top ai stock that i like right now to buy on the next pullback I'm also going to include CrowdStrike and Palantir in there. Now, I've been riding CrowdStrike in a while. My only regret with CrowdStrike is I didn't buy more of it. So CrowdStrike uh, and Palantir, I'm not in currently. I missed it when it was at $7 because I didn't understand the company that well. But I've been doing a lot of research, a lot of watching for years with Palantir. And 
just like NVIDIA, CrowdStrike, and Palantir in their own respects, they are so far ahead with quality, with the competition, and that's the biggest thing I look for with growth stocks long term is that, number one, is it going to be needed in the future? How important will it be? And then also, how far ahead are they with their competition? And these three companies I see are far ahead in their competition with their respects, their respective sectors and their place in demand in the future in the compound growth rate. So during the next pullback or a pullback in, in these three stocks, I'm buying and moving on from those high flying stocks that have done well, the stocks that have done poorly. All right. Tesla, Roku, Nexera Energy. So let me explain. So Tesla is a core holding of mine. It's it's un, so I have Nvidia has been the top performer. Tesla's been the worst performer, and that's why I'm at, I've been adding to Tesla. Right now, it's valued as an electric vehicle company. I'm not buying it for the electric vehicles. I think that will eventually turn around itself. But it's energy storage, autonomous driving. Ultimately, I think we'll win in long term. Might happen at the end of this year. Might not. Might be a few years from now. But uh, I believe it will happen eventually. I want to be in now, little by little, dollar cost averaging, while it's down. I think eventually with with the self self driving, its software will be sold to enterprises. That will be a multi bagger when that happens. And also, you see, artificial intelligence will require so much energy. It's not even funny. So. And uh, the leaders in energy storage and renewable energy should do very well, and Tesla's right there with it. So it's going to be a con conglomerate. Am I saying that correctly? I can't even pronounce the word, but you know, just like how Apple and Microsoft start off start off as computer companies, Apple turned to a phone company. Microsoft is now valued as a cloud company. So Tesla will change from an EV company valued into could be energy, energy and autonomous. So, and that's exactly why I like Nextera Energy at this point. Now, your Nextera Energy might not be a long-term growth company, may or may not, but because it had a huge pullback and it's done poorly in the last couple of years, it's been way undervalued. I got it had a little bit of a recently it went up, I think like five ten percent. So I'm I'm up on the stock since I got in, but I'm holding it. I think it's at like sixty three dollars now. I'm definitely holding it unless I see like a huge increase, but they have the, the number one renewable energy infrastructure. So they will be one of the stocks to benefit with the huge demand with uh, energy that is common with artificial intelligence. So if, if I will take profits in a stock like, like Nextera Energy, if I see that it goes, it climbs up substantially, maybe 25% or so in a short period of time, then I'll look, I'll take profits and uh, put in the next uh, growth stock I see. Now, Roku, Roku tanked because of uh, where it was at with the recent news with Walmart was buying Vizio and entering the space to compete with Amazon. And I thought that was a huge buying opportunity because cord cutting, advertising, all right, it will go into to streaming, right? And Roku, I have Roku. I know friends of Roku. Everybody loves Roku compared to the Amazon Fire Stick, the Google Chromecast. All right. And when you have a Roku TV, it lasts about 10 years, right? So Roku is right now valued per, a lot lower than it was. And I know the future will be positive in that sector. And I think it will be the one to benefit versus the threat of Walmart doing something. If Amazon and Google couldn't take it down, I don't think I don't think uh, Walmart's going to be able to take it down. I think Roku's got a good product, and Roku will find ways to um, to profit better. And if you look at the last earnings report, it, the number one statistic I saw was that was important to me was the user uh, growth. Its user growth grew 19%. And it grows revenue about similarly about 90% as well, and its net income grew a lot. So uh, it checks off all the boxes. It'll keep growing, and eventually the stock will follow. The last one here, I bought Dutch Bros at $25, right? When it was some, close to the bottom at $23, I think it bottomed. All right, I might it might be a good opportunity to buy it now, but I want it to go down for a pullback under $30 for me to add to the stock. Uh, I like Dutch Bro a lot. It's opening up stores all over the place. Right now, it's just on the West Coast. It's going to go towards the East Coast eventually. 
and I like how it's it's I have has domestic growth. It doesn't have the international exposure where you're at risk with China, like so many tech companies do. Uh, this is just domestic, and it's it's not tech, so it's diversified from my portfolio. I'm heavy in tech. And people love Dutch Bros. From right here on the West Coast, I'm on the East Coast. The lines are long, and people love Dutch Bros. And I don't know about about y'all, but I'm sick of the... I like to drink coffee, but I'm sick of Starbucks. I'm sick of Dunkin'. Uh, I think we're thirsting for, for, for change here with coffee. And I think Dutch Bros. will keep expanding, keep growing its revenue. And this is the type of stock, a small cap stock, that will do great in the environment that rate cuts will come and they will benefit greatly uh, from rate cuts and along with the renewable energy uh, stocks. So that's all I have. Uh, if you enjoyed this video, click the like button, subscribe and uh, take care.